Hey, welcome to Science Fiction Lit. I'm Mr. Herzog. And I'm Miss Myers. And uh, we're just going to throw up a couple reminders and, uh, and then talk about this coming week and what we need to do. There's a lot happening this week. It's important that you're staying up to date on the deadlines. All right. So uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about Remind. Okay, so if you haven't already signed up for Remind with our class, please make sure that you do. Um, it's a way for us to send you deadlines, but it's also a way for you guys to message us in case you have any questions. It's probably the fastest because we get it right to our phones. And we can also, you know, message you if you're falling behind or if you miss something, we can give you a heads up about it. And then um, moving down to the stuff that was already due, thank you guys for all of you completed the Introduce Yourself and the What is Science Fiction in a very timely manner. Yeah, um, kudos to you. Sometimes it doesn't happen, so it's great to see that. I do just want to remind you, remind you guys that this is an English class, so make sure even with informal little things like that that you are watching your punctuation, your grammar, your spelling, just read over it a few times to make sure it looks okay before you hit submit. Yeah, sometimes the tendency, because we write online all the time, or chatting to friends, we don't care about, cap I mean, I care, but many people just don't care about capitalization, punctuation, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, and they can really make your pieces shine if you do it correctly. Um, today, we're recording this video on September 11th, so this lesson may not be done, but the common story, this was going to take you a little bit, uh, because it is a video, you have to watch the video, then answer some questions. I'm asking you to do that. If you didn't do that, you want to make sure you do that. You'll get a grade for that. But then starting this week, we're now into talking about why is science fiction valid? I think this is a great lesson, a great um, thing to look at because many times science fiction is kind of poo-pooed by mainstream society. It seems to have like it's not held up to the same standard we might hold up as Charles Dickens or you know Herman Melville or anything like that. But really, I think that science fiction is perhaps more valid as we, as our society changes, become more technological. It seems like we're moving into a science fiction world in a lot of ways. So anyways, um, answer that. Um, the ancestors of science fiction, we begin to get into, this is where the nuts and bolts of, there's really just two lessons this week. It's this lesson and this one. We get into the, what I call the grandfathers or grand, like maybe to be non-sexist, the, uh, the, uh, Grand people, uh, the grand, the ancestors of science fiction is a good way of putting it. And so we're going to look at stuff like Shelley from Frankenstein, uh, Jules Verne, and even Edgar Allan Poe, who have written science fiction stories. Poe, has, of course, known for his horror, but he did write stuff that was science fiction based as well. And that is a fantastic lesson. Probably the biggest thing that you need to decide this week is the science fiction novel that you're going to be reading for the entire course. And again, there's a list right here that we've given you and uh, the requirements for it are all there. I won't read them here. If you have a novel that's not, like say it hasn't come out in the past couple years, um, but that you want to read it's not on this list, shoot us a message of our mind. And we'll, if, if it's one that we like, yeah, go ahead and do that, we'll let you know. And these have some that has some criticism to it. So that's why we may be hesitant on some of them. You're going to enter all that information here. I don't know why it's telling me to sign in on this form. Um, we'll, we'll check that to make sure that you can. I, but oh, see, now it pops up fine. So what you'll want to do is just sign in, answer first and last name, name a novel author. If you're doing a second novel, like let's say you pick a novel that's 100 pages long, you're going to have to do two novels. This is where that information would go. And you're just submitting it. I would encourage you to start reading it because uh, you're going to have to read it. You're going to have to have a certain amount read by next week. Uh, that's going to depend on um, your novel, obviously, as to how much you read. But I think that's it. Is there anything else you need to tell them, Ms. Myers? No, I think that's, I think that's pretty good yeah. for this week. Yeah, so uh, it's great having the three of you in here. There's only three of you in the course. But if you have any questions... Message us through mine. You can message us through the Moodle app or through the Moodle page. Uh, rather be messaged in mine or emailed at scott.herzog at penmatter.net. All right. Hey, we'll catch you later.